Hey, I'm Sean from Rainpro Supply in Regina, and uh, in this video I want to talk to you about a little change in the Rainbird 5000 uh, model sprinkler head that's going to make it a lot easier to adjust your left hand stop. Okay, so let's get into changing the left hand stop. So um, in the uh, old days, what you had to do to adjust the, the left hand stop, basically the, the Rainbird rotor um, just rotates back and forth like so. Um, and this left hand stop um, was fixed. So when you're turning your uh, sprinkler onto your um, onto your riser um, or your or your fitting basically what you had to do was make sure that, that arrow um, right there is was lined up to the uh, left hand stop as further far as it could go then when you're turning it on um, to your riser you had to get it just right so that when you stop tightening it got it to within um, you know a quarter turn of being completely tight that that left hand stop was uh, um, pointed right down the the furthest left that you wanted that sprinkler to spray um, but uh, now they've made a little bit of a change to it with uh, what's called a slip clutch um, that's going to make that a uh, heck of a lot easier. So um, what you're going to do is you're going to be able to, I've got my, my headlock tool here that's uh, popped, up, popped up the uh, sprinkler head that's going to make it a little bit easier for me to use here. Um, basically what you're going to want to do is just turn your, um, turn your sprinkler um, tight onto your riser. Um, and then basically what you're going to be able to do, they come factory um, set to 180 degree turns. So this is the furthest left that it's going to go. And it's going to go all the way around to the, uh, to the right in a 180 degree pattern. Um, so you can see this here, how that stops there. You can hear a little click and then you can hear a little click there. But now what you're going to be able to do is actually just keep turning it past that left hand stop and I'm going to turn it a whole 90 degrees so that you can see. Um, now when I go to turn back to the right, it's still going to keep that 180 degree pattern, but now I've got the left hand stop changed. So um, again, to, to recap what you want to do is completely um, turn, turn your sprinkler onto your um, onto your riser um, so that you get it set and then what you can do is you can hear it click all the way on the right hand stop and then when you hear it click on the left hand stop you can keep turning it a little bit until you get the uh, desired left hand stop that you want and then you're going to still get that 180 degree pattern and then what you can do from there to adjust the right hand stop is just with the um, plus minus slot here and your handy rainbird adjustment tool um, just either go in the uh, give it a turn in the minus direction um, if you want to go for say closer to 90 degrees if you want to go closer to 270 degrees you're just going to give it a turn in the plus direction until you get it fine-tuned so hopefully that uh, alleviate some of the problems that uh, there has been with setting the Rainbird 5000 left hand stop. 